Now speak about Cote d'Ivoire, of course, it's one of the bright spots in West Africa, growth rates about 8%. And we have joining us today Abraman Sisi, the Minister in Charge of Budget for Cote d'Ivoire, to give us some perspective on the drivers of growth going forward. Thank you so much, Minister, for joining us today. So, like I did mention, what we're seeing in Cote d'Ivoire is definitely a bright spot in West Africa as we see growth slow down in several other countries. So, your thoughts about the growth prospects going forward? Because we are seeing a lot more investments in infrastructure. Your thoughts about the kind of growth we can see going forward? Thank you very much for the invitation. A lot of things is happening in, uh, in Ivory As you mentioned, for the past uh, three years, our economy has grown by around more than 25% over the past three years. And we want that to continue. And we want that to continue via investment. We do invest a lot, both on the public side, but and we expect the private sector to come more. If you look at the budget, for example, a third of the budget is affected to investment. That's compared to 15% five years ago. So we're reducing our current expenditure and investing a lot in capital expenditure right. to build roads, to make sure that we have energy. Because when the private sector comes to a country, one of the first questions that they ask is, do you have energy? If you want to build a factory, can we, are we able to make sure that you know, electricity is going to be uh, constant? So this is something that we really take into account. And we want the private sector now to be more involved in Ivory Coast. And right. we're doing a lot of reforms in terms of the ease of doing business. Yeah. We gain a lot of points. If you look Ivory Coast for the past two years, we've been twice in a row among the, te the top 10 countries uh, that did most of the reforms in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, but are we already seeing that interest being reflected as more and more investments are being done? Can you just give us a sense of the type of investments that we are seeing from outside the country coming into your country? Yeah, FDI is increasing. It's increasing a lot. And where is it going? What are it's the going target to, areas? Uh, industrialization. So if you take, for example, manufacturing, we're the first cocoa producer in the world. Yeah. And uh, last month, we, we launched the first cocoa producing factory that will actually go all the way from um, uh, the raw material up to the finished product, like the chocolate. Yeah. That's, that's the first one that uh, we launched. We did use to have industries, but it was going up to like slightly unfinished product. And this is the first one that will go all the way right. uh, up to the end. Carrefour, which is the third largest retailer in the world, is opening a shop in, uh, in Ivory Coast. That one will open in October this year. Right. So, so it's coming? It's coming. All right. Okay, it's but let's, let's talk about the elections that are coming and what impact that could have in terms of stifling growth. In Nigeria, for instance, in the first quarter of this year, yeah. many people um, talk about the fact that that was one of the contributors to the slowdown we've yeah. seen, even though there are other factors as well. But what can we expect in Cote d'Ivoire in terms of growth going forward? First, the election will go smoothly. That's something we firmly believe. Right. It's going to happen in October this year. Sure. And that will be a smooth election, a peaceful election. But a lot of time when you speak to investors, they always say, we're waiting for the, invest, you know, for the right. election to, uh, to go through, and then we'll come. Yes. But we're already seeing people coming. And we think after the election, a lot more people will come uh, right. to Ivory Coast to invest. And right. we're just waiting for that. But right. they should come now because right. the opportunities are there. Right. What about your debt stock? We've seen um, you benefit from HIPC, HIPC uh, but since then we've now seen you borrow a lot more. Yeah. So many people begin to get concerned about that. It all depends on where the money is going, I imagine. But how, how concerned are you about your debt stock now? Let me give you some figures. Our debt to GDP ratio, which is one of the main indicators that we look at, is around 35%. Right. Because, of course, the stock of debt is increasing, but at the same time, the economy is growing even faster. Our GDP is increasing by around 9% per year. So debt to GDP ratio is around 35%. At the same time, when you look at um, our fiscal deficit, our fiscal deficit is lower than 3%. 2014, we ended up the year with a fiscal deficit at 2.3%. 2015, we're expecting something around 3%. So right. we're keeping a strong eye on all the different indicators. And President Ouattara is really technical. He's a macroeconomic uh, uh, person. So we look at all the different uh, indicators to make sure that our debt is sustainable. Right. Abdurrahman, thank you so much for joining us. Minister of, in charge of the budget of Cote d'Ivoire, giving us some perspective on the growth prospects for that economy in West Africa. When